Hello, it's good to have you back. It's a beautiful Thursday right in Nigeria. My name is M. Tommy of Peace Egg Ministry, in case you're meeting me for the first time. All right, so today we're going to look at making choices without God. Making choices without God. Let's read from the Bible, the book of Genesis chapter 13, from verse 10. Lot looked around and saw that the whole plain of the Jordan towards Zohar was well watered, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lot chose for himself the whole plain of the Jordan and set toward the east. The two men parted company, that is Abraham and Lot. All right, so we jump to verse 14. The Lord said to Abraham, after Lot had parted from him, look around from where you are, to the north and south, to the east and west. All the land that you see, I will give to you and your offspring forever. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth, so that if anyone could count the dust, then your offspring could be counted. Go, walk through the length and breadth of the land, for I am giving it to you. So Abraham went to live near the great trees of Mamre at Hebron, where he pitched his tents. There he built an altar for the Lord. You see, most times we tend to make choices without involving God. We are carried away by what we see, by what we hear, by what we feel, by emotion. But of course, you know that these things are baseless because when the situation arises, what you see, what you hear, what you feel, and your emotion will change, and it cannot be forever. It cannot stand the test of time. Most times you look at the beautiful things of life and you prefer that. What you see immediately, what you see now, you say, wow, this is so beautiful, this is so nice. The main thing is not now, it's what's going to happen after, it's the end. That's why when the Bible says, the day of a man's death, is far better and important than the day of his birth. That is, the end will always justify the mean. It may look good today, it may look flourish today, but in the twinkle of an eye, all is gone. So when Lord and Abraham had the opportunity to choose where to settle, Lord chose by his senses. And if you read that verse 14, Abraham waited and God spoke to him. When God told Abraham to choose that land of Canaan, there was no milk and honey. But he said, the land that we flow with milk and honey. Most times we want to laugh now, we want to be happy now and cry later. It's supposed to be the other way around. You cry now and smile and laugh later. Most people have rushed into marriages and have ended up marrying the wrong person. Maybe because of money, because of feeling, emotion, that we're just baseless. Now that the money is no more there, the marriage is over. That's why you have divorce everywhere. Oh, you marry a beautiful lady because she looks so, she has a good shape, she has money, she has a career. What happened tomorrow if she falls sick? What happened tomorrow if she loves that job and a career? Will the marriage continue? It may not, because that was feeling. Not a mere emotion, but if it was beyond what you see, what you hear, to something more eternal and powerful, no matter what will happen tomorrow, no matter what will come up tomorrow, no matter what will crop up tomorrow, you always stand strong. God does not just think about now for you. He thinks about now and the future. He thinks about 100 years from now. How will your life be? So whatever I give to you, he knows that this thing will take you throughout 100 years throughout 200 years, throughout 150 years, throughout your whole entire generation. So Lot was carried away by, oh, this place is nice. See the garden, see everywhere is watered like the Eden. But he never knew that that same land would be destroyed by water, that Sodom and Gomorrah would be destroyed. That's what I'm talking about. He did not look at the future, he was looking at the now. But God told Abraham, this place is not developed. This place is not looking good. But I tell you, it will flow with milk and honey. At the end of the day, Sodom and Gomorrah, was destroyed a lot was stranded but look at Canaan up to today we are still talking about Canaan so don't you ever leave God out of your choices if you look at the two verses you realize that God now told Abraham where to choose and where to settle 
but that was not the case with Lot. So no matter how tiny, small, unimportant that vision looks like, you think it looks like, don't let God out of it. Because it may not look clean today. It may not look good today. It may not look super today. But the most important thing is what will happen in the future. It is better you cry now and laugh later than laughing now to cry later. Many people have changed the course of their lives because of hasting into decision without involving God. In marriages, in career, in business, in finance, name them, in ministry, without hearing from God. Whatever God is not involved will crash. Whatever God has not formed, he cannot maintain. So if you want God to maintain that thing, then it must be the foundation. The formation must be of him for him to maintain it. I know you're blessed already by these words. Take it to heart and act on it and you see God bless you. Don't forget, my name is M. Tommy of Peace Eye Community. God bless you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. See you next time. Bye.